Welcome again, this is Genz, and today we're back with some PAL World, but sadly I had to restart my playthrough. There's some more information on that on my community uh, post, so go ahead and go to that if you want to find out more. Um, so yeah, I'm restarting, but that's just okay because in this entire video, I've gone from square one to beating the first boss. So be excited for that, and let's get right into it, guys. I started off my playthrough as just a man with a loincloth in the windswept hills. I then proceeded to get this sneaky chest that was hiding in a corner. And this castaways journal which I'm definitely not gonna read. After building a workbench and leveling up, I decided to unlock some things in the technology section. I unlocked the first fast travel section and went to go talk to this NPC. I crafted my first pickaxe and then brutally beat a chicken and stuffed it into my ball. I unlocked some more things in the technology section and then went and got this chest in Castaway's journal. By the way, I didn't notice this earlier, but the water looks really good in this game. It's actually really nice looking. Moving on, I got into this epic cat fight. Okay, maybe epic's a bit too strong of a word there. After climbing up a hill, I saw my arch nemesis, the Dinosum. I immediately got over my seething rage for that Dinosum and went to the technology section before starting to build my house. The building system in this game infuriates me on a level unbeknownst. This is ridiculous. I hate this building system with a passion. It's worse than Ark, and if you've played Ark, oh boy, that's bad. Anyways, I finished my house. I then summoned my first pal, a little sheep, to my base. And look at him. Look how cute he runs. What a little adorable little motherfucker. I then leveled up my base, and after crafting a common shield, I threw my sheep across the universe with the force of a thousand suns. I then unlocked both the logging site and the stone pit, because unlocking those allows you to no longer use your hands to get wood and stone like a peasant. After that, I found another site for fast travel and a cool chest, yippee! After placing my stone pit and logging site, I made a statue of power. If you don't know what those do, they allow you to raise the stats of both you and your pals. I then made one of the coolest things in the universe, a bow that shoots fire arrows, aka a fire bow. Why are all 
of these fights so anticlimactic? And oh look, another person who I'm definitely not going to throw in one of my balls later. And a lift monk effigy which I can use to raise my stats. After crafting some fire arrows, I had the coolest fight of my life, not against this knight fucking bird or something, I don't even know what its name is. Oh, lucky me, I caught a fucking seagull. I wonder if these Melpecas have pink skin the same way flamingos have pink skin. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I then added some more pal beds to my base and fried some eggs. Sadly, this deer had some mental health issues and I decided not to catch him. But this deer is stereotypically normal, so I'm gonna stuff him in my back pocket. Oh look how cute he is, ramming his head up against this tree. I hope you're enjoying this fight, because I'm sure this tree is, but I'm not. This penguin committed war crimes, so I stuffed him in my back pocket. After making a hot spring for my sli- uh, pals, I crafted a milpaca saddle and a feathered hairband. I then took a stroll through the meadow with my Melpeka. Oh looky, a Pokeball, a Pal Sphere, and a Mega Sphere. I parachuted down to the village below and talked to the village chief, and then I unlocked the fast travel for this area. You may be wondering, Gens, why are you talking so quietly? Fuck you! After that, I decided it was finally time to go into the dungeon, the beach dungeon that was right next to me the entire motherfucking time. 
Also, is that cat's name Mao? Are you fucking kidding me? Mao? 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 Really? Really? This is not a Pokemon. Oh wait, this is Pokemon. Never mind, it's Pal World. Which is Pokemon. I then came across a Mao and a few Syndicate thugs fighting, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and help this little baby cat boy, and definitely not steal him. After the fight where I nearly lost my life, not, I came across one of the coolest things in the game. Just kidding again. You woo, look at me, I'm, I'm on a roll. Anyways, these guys are actually really good. Really good for collecting stone. I felt like Indiana Jones doing this thing with the parachute. And it helps that there was a chest there as well, full of things I absolutely did not need. Oh look, more syndicate thugs fighting. What is that? Kilimari? Are you kidding? Kilimari? Really? 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 I decided to catch this little squid so I can eat him. Butcher. I'm going to butcher this thing later and eat it. I then went through the coolest area ever. After that, I saw the coolest thing ever. My new favorite creature in the video game. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is literally a blobfish with an acorn on its head. And it is the damn cutest thing in the game. I have no idea what I would have done with myself if I didn't catch this giant acorn-headed motherfucker. I then went and opened the chest that it was protecting. After that, I went to the black market. Yes, that's right. I'm going to sell my pals like objects. Oh my lord, finally. It's a metal pickaxe and a metal axe. Holy crap, these made life easier for me. Fighting the Mamorest was a lifelong goal of mine. I've been dreaming of this since I was a toddler, so I decided I was powerful enough to take it on. Boy, was I wrong. If you look closely, I am doing one damage to him. That's right, not two, not three, not fifty-seven and a half, one damage. After making a deer saddle, I decided I wanted to step up my game, so instead of catching pals and animals, I wanted to capture a human. This is my first time using this goo moss in a fight. I love it. I love it. You do not understand how much I love this thing.
I then went to the Rain Syndicate Tower fast travel site and went to this Syndicate Thug area. I'm not really sure. But anyways, I decided I felt like it was a great time. That was a whole bunch of words that didn't make any sense, but who cares? Anyways, I fucked them up. I fucked them up. Consensually. After that, I looked at this cage, and oh my god, it's a Nox. What is a Nox? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the boss battle. I left this entire part uncut, so watch it all if you want. It's my pleasure. If you don't want to watch it, that's just fine. I don't give a crap. So... I'm just going to leave y'all with this boss battle. I'll see you when it's over.
You'll notice multiple times during this fight, I run behind this pillar. That's because I have no balls. They were surgically removed as a child. Anyways, this Gumas is absolutely insane. I love this thing with all my heart. I also try to catch these guys multiple times because why not? You can catch most things in this game anyways. After finally getting home after that long, hard-fought battle, I found these cool daydreams up on the hill. They're actually really good, I've used them before, and if you get their necklace, you can have them out, even if you don't have them in your selected PAL slot. I've tried to catch this guy multiple times, but every time he dies, it's like he doesn't want to be stuffed into my ball. Who would have thought?
All right, guys, that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed. It was a really fun video to make and took a while, took a lot of effort. So honestly, I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And that's all, guys. I'll see you.